build that I've been waiting for for a long time is finally here and maybe some of you, whether you know it or not, you've been waiting for this build too. So, in this update and the final DLC, there is a secret armor set that you can find that gives you a whopping 500% bear damage attack bonus and this is a build one of the builds that breaks the game in my opinion it's pretty OP and if you go back you know I was one of the people using this build since dream of the strong I've been waiting for this build to get this kind of enhancement and I have to thank team ninja for finally giving us a soul core that does bare handed attack damage and now whole new armor set so this is pretty crazy and if you build it right you can get somewhere between you know, 50 and 100,000 damage with your strongest attack and anywhere above 10,000 with your normal attacks which is a really fun build to use there's a lot of unique stuff you can do with this build there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with the bare hand build that you cannot do with any other builds like taking the weapons as you'll see in some of these clips of the human enemies which is always really satisfying to do this game is so satisfying when you learn all the different mechanics to the gameplay so I'm not going to show too many clips of bosses and stuff like that I'll probably do individual clips of that but I want to talk about how to make this build and if you haven't ever made a barehanded build before you can go and watch older videos the requirements are pretty much the same for this nothing really changes for this except for the new armor set and I'm going to tell you how to get it but first I want to say thank you to not only team ninja but a YouTube user named addicted who was as far as I know the first person to discover this and at least make the build for it and add on to it so I want to thank him you know I give credit where credits due. as I said I've been using this build for a long time but he put together a very nice new edition of this build and so I want to give him credit link in the description to his YouTube channel he's got a lot of great Neo 2 content so in order to get this new set you have to trade two pieces of ethereal equipment to the big Sudama. So in order to find the Sudama, the best way to go is to the underworld floor number six. And from there, you can just drop the first piece that you want to change. And the second piece has to be a piece of the weapon, the fists. Now I'm not sure if the fists have to be ethereal, but I've always dropped ethereal. It doesn't matter the plus value. You should almost always get the new set that you want. So you want to get three pieces of the warrior of the east set which you can farm in the mission horns on head dragonfly in hand which i believe is in the fourth region the third or fourth region and once you get that set you want to use four pieces of that set including the weapon for that bonus and you want to use six pieces of the pajikaro's grace for the 500 percent extra damage so for my stats we have 200 constitution because that's what the warrior of the east set scales to we have 200 strength because i figure we're using heavy armor for the most part so that would be better to maybe give us a little bit more damage with our effects and then i have 200 in magic because magic is a big part of this build and it's always good to have a lot of magic especially for the highest difficulty for our accessories you can use whatever accessories you want as long as they have set bonus reduced on one of them i'm using the fan with magic most of them have defense bonus magic this is mostly a dps build so whatever you can get on there it doesn't really matter but for this build thanks to addicted we're using paralysis and this has been done before in other builds but i've never really been one to use the elemental effect so here we have melee damage versus paralyzed enemy. We have about 50% of that on our two pieces. And I also have melee damage against enemy on low key. So when you add all this together, you have a pretty powerful build. And we have almost 900% bonus spare handed attack damage. Now, it's worth pointing out that this build will not work unless you have some additional damage to your base spare handed attack damage because this is simply a bonus multiplier also make sure that you join the fukushima clan so you get the extra 70 percent bonus for bare handed attack damage and make sure that you inherit it might take you a while if you're starting from scratch you want to inherit 
35%, up to 35% barehanded attack damage on every armor piece, and this can be done only from finding it first as an inheritable trait on the gauntlets. So it could take you some time to put this build together. But just getting the Tajikaro's Grace is really easy because all you have to do is present the items to the Sudama so you can reroll them. So putting this build together is pretty simple. The scroll that I use is also very important because on my scroll I have Counter Yokai Tactics and I have Path of the Ruthless. So with Path of the Ruthless you get a bonus damage for every time you hit an enemy you get a bonus attack damage. So this is pretty OP. You take a little more damage in return but it's worth it. And one of the coolest things they added with this new armor set is that you also get key pulses for the first time using barehanded. And we've been waiting for this for a long time for us barehanded users. This is incredible. And they speed up the key speed, the key recovery speed, and they reduced the amount of key consumption for each attack. So this build is a complete build now. It's always been a good build. It's had diminishing returns, I would say, with each new update, but now it's really useful, especially if you're an aggressive style player and you fight close to the bosses and you want to just get in there, do a lot of damage, risk taking some damage, but get over the fights quickly. Uh, this is my favorite build in the game, and I think a lot of new users will appreciate this build. So thank you for watching, and hopefully you find this build useful, this video useful, and maybe you'll enjoy this build. Yeah.